All right, just 16 days to Christmas. That means it's the most wonderful time of the year, but we're not talking about the holiday season. Tonight, we're talking trout season. Texas trout season is underway, and we're taking you behind the scenes as 200 Texas lakes and ponds get stocked with rainbow trout this winter. I've got them in two different compartments. Blink and you might miss a trout stocking. They can be over in minutes. Fisheries biologist Jeremy Gillard checks some lake levels crucial for fish to survive. We're going to test the water in the lake and make sure that the dissolved oxygen and the temperature is close to what the temperature on our trailer is. Um, and then we will release the fish into the water. We asked Gillard to release a few with a net. Typically, if lake levels are good, it goes faster. More than a thousand trout are now in the lake here at Tyler State Park, but that's not where this story starts. No, it starts at the Texas Freshwater Fisheries Center in the Raceway Building. That's where the trout originally arrive in Texas. You're looking at just some of the 350,000 trout that passed through the Raceway Building this winter. These will be 8 to 10 inch stockings and these will be 12 inch and larger stockings. That's where biologist Donovan Patterson and team will sort, separate, then send rainbow trout to Texas lakes. They'll be going out as early as next week. Why are they great to start? Because it's winter and it's colder water. They're going to be feisty, relatively easy to catch. And it's a good opportunity for people to get out and fish close to home. Trout are part of the Salmonid family and thrive in clear, crisp, cold water. That makes winter a perfect habitat here in Texas until spring when it warms up as migrating birds and bass get hungry. About 70 degrees, the trout start getting really slow. And they don't die at, at that temperature, but they get slow enough that predators start to eat them. But remember, there's an exception to every rule, and that exception takes us back to where our story began, the lake at Tyler State Park. About five to eight feet down, there's a real sharp thermocline. The temperature goes down really fast, and, uh, and there's still enough oxygen down there so the cold water trout can survive year round. But why take that chance? Grab a pole and head out now. We stock these fish uh, just for our anglers to be able to go out and enjoy the winter. Someone caught a trout out at uh, the lake at Tyler State Park in September, so you can see that they can survive through the summer in those deeper thermoclines. You don't need a special license to fish for trout. You can keep up to five a day. To get a schedule and location of stockings, just visit CBS 19 for a link.